All right. So starting with lack of client awareness, I think this is, you know, it's a couple of things, right, Jess? I think it's, you know, I think it's education um, for one thing and, and helping them understand what the actual benefits are of the enhancement services and, and just making them aware and actually offering a solution to them to maybe a problem that they have. But it would be great if you could kind of share some of your uh, some of your experience here for us. Yeah. So this was my key focus, right? When I was an account manager and there were several ways I did it. Um, so I started with site audits, right? I did site audits on every single site three times a year. And the purpose behind that was to provide my client with awareness of what's going on on their site. So I would do spring, summer, fall, right? You want to get a good baseline. What does this look like in spring? What can I do to enhance the property during these months, right? Then we look at to the summer, we look at, you know, is there disease present? Are there different issues on the site that we can solutionize right now, right? Or, and then, you know, come fall, are we looking into, you know, holiday decorations, fall flowers, stuff like that. And then fall's a really good time to make a bunch of repairs too, right? So we don't want to disrupt the site during summer months when there's a lot of activity going on. We want to wait until fall to do that. Maybe it's overseeding, you know, there's a bunch of different things that we can do in the fall. And then in that fall month, I'm looking towards next year. One of the huge things that I see um, account managers and, and business owners not fail at, but I think maybe miss the mark on, is being on site. When you're doing those site audits, I never looked for just landscaping, right? I looked for every single issue on that site that could be resolved. And it wasn't necessarily like something we could do, but I never said no. I always said yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe it, you know, caused my production managers a little bit of anxiety, but I always said yes. And it gave me two opportunities, right? It gave me an opportunity for my team to learn a new skill. Like, hey, can you power wash this? Yeah, absolutely. We'll figure it out. Or it gives me an opportunity to bring in a subcontractor and generate revenue that way. So I never said no, ever. And I always looked at you know, becoming that partner for them, looking at certain things, safety issues, you have a broken fence here, you have broken lights over here, you, you know, you have trees growing over security lights, just building that rapport with your client so that they know that you're looking out for their best interest, right? And constantly making them aware of things that are going on on their site. Yeah, I think that's a, I don't know how many times I've heard just like, you guys are my eyes and ears outside because when we think about like a lot of times we're dealing with facility managers or property managers or, you know, they've got, you know, we think about landscaping and the exterior of the building, but they, they sometimes have, you know, food deliveries. They, a lot of times have the, the del whole delivery system at that particular property. They've got the inside, they've got the electrical, the mechanical systems, they've got the janitorial in a lot of cases. So they've got a lot of balls in the air. So like them always saying like, you know, you are my eyes and ears out there and you are like, if there's something wrong on a site, a lot of, a lot of times they're like, I expect you to tell me, even if it's not within your scope of work. So I think, I think being aware of broken windows, even if you didn't break the window and you didn't catch a rock with a string trimmer or whatever that might be, you know, if you just notice those things, um, you're just, you're creating an immense amount of value and you're, you're kind of making yourself a, um, an indispensable resource for that, that customer essentially. Yeah. And I think, you know, you have to be willing to make changes with the times, right? So I think COVID was one of those times where people were concerned about spending money, right? We saw a lot of folks pulling back on their enhancement budgets. Um, but I had to flip and, and switch my focus to um, you know, what is going to bring people back to these buildings. So during COVID, we had a lot of conversations about creating beautiful areas for employees to come back to, whether it was a walking path or a reading bench, or I know my production managers were sick and tired of installing butterfly gardens and all those things, right? But you have to shift with the times. You have to be able to pivot and find out what is causing your client an issue and come up with a solution, right? And we don't look at it just as landscaping. I mean, it is so vast and it cre you can you can literally create this partnership with your client where I've had times where someone will just call and say, hey, do you know anybody that does X, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll find somebody that does it and I'll manage it the whole way through, right? So it's it's really, you know, looking at every aspect 
of their property. And like you said, just being their partner in that. It's no longer an yeah. upsell point, right? It's just, it's the next natural step. They come to you consistently.